I decided instead of going live on Facebook or Instagram or Snapchat, um, I'm just going to take a video and then upload it um, on my social medias because if I go live now, no one's going to see it because they're all at church or whatever. But like, y'all, I had, I don't even know what to think right now. I don't know how this deal was amazing as it was. I was supposed to meet somebody up to sell something and I had some free time. I figured I would run into Walgreens and just throw something together and that's what I did. I had no game plan. I just threw something together and it worked out like I can't even tell you how amazing it worked out. Well, amazing and I had two little mishaps. Okay. So I walked into the store cuz you know it's a new sale week. I had a booster, a paper booster that said Get $8 in Walgreens cash when you spend $35 or more. So I had the mindset going into the store. Okay, I need to get at least $35 worth of stuff to get that $8 um, booster. Um, and I, I didn't have my digital booster on my account because I had already used it with like a curbside pickup. But I wanted to see, I'm at a different Walgreens. I wanted to see what they had on clearance and stuff like that. Um, this deal was fire. Um, I made at least $15 off of this shopping trip. I'm shook because it worked out way better than I initially wanted. So, oh look, I got another coupon printed out at the register, interesting. Um, I don't, I didn't wanna necessarily buy things in person because the items in Walgreens are always a little bit more expensive than on their app. So I was kind of like, I don't know if I should buy these things or if I should just do a curbside pickup because it is more inspe more expensive to buy in store. But I was like, you know what? Let's just wing it. Let's go for it and see what happens. And I'm glad that I did. Oh my God. So glad. Okay. So first things first, I wanted to get some big su school supplies because it's not often that you get big digital coupons on the Walgreens app. Um, like every once in a while you'll get it, but whenever we do get it, I try to take advantage of that and somehow work it into a deal where it benefits me and I'm not like losing out on money. So these are on sale this week. Buy one, get one half off. Now on the website, they're priced at $2.49, but in store they're $2.99. So this rang up $2.99 and this one was half off. So $1.49. I had a $3 off digital coupon making them in quotation marks, one ninety nine cents and one forty nine cents, but I really didn't even pay that. So yeah, three dollar off digital coupon for these big highlighters. And in my curbside pickup order I did this morning, I got the pens because I'm obsessed with organizing. I found this on clearance. I thought it was worth getting. It was a huge thing of loose leaf paper. This was on clearance for thirty two cents. So I got that as a nice little like filler item. And I picked up two of these Nexus hair masks because there is a $5 digital coupon attaching to them and these are two for five in the store. So after the $5 coupon, they should have been free, but I'm looking at my receipt and that coupon did not come off. So I will have to call Walgreens and see if they can fix that. Um, if not, I'm still fine because this deal ended up being way better than I thought. Um, my out-of-pocket just wasn't $5 um, lower. Oh, same with my BIC coupon. My BIC coupons didn't come off. So the Nexus and the BIC did not come off and I don't know why. Um, so that's $8 right there that should have, have come off that didn't, but I still ended up making money off this deal, even with those two mishaps. But that was that. And then I wanted to do this Oral-B deal. These are when you buy three select products, there's different products that are in this deal but when you buy three you get five dollars Walgreens cash so I picked up this toothbrush for $3.99 I had a two dollar off coupon picked up these toothpicks for $3.99 had a two dollar off coupon and picked up this toothpaste for $3.99 and had a two dollar off coupon and I got five dollars Walgreens cash for buying these on that sale so that was really good and then the last deal I did, I noticed I had two Colgate coupons on my app, two $4, two $4 off ones, which Colgate is on a sale $3.99 this week. When you buy two, you get $4 in Walgreens cash, which means free toothpaste this week if you have these coupons. Um, so I picked up four of these at $3.99. I used two $4 off digital coupons and I should have gotten back $8 in Walgreens cash, making the toothpaste completely free. 
so those were the things i got the four things of colgate the toothbrush the crest and the oral b toothpicks two nexus hair masks two things of highlighters and some um paper and my total was i want to say around $40 before anything. And then the coupons came off. The only ones I noticed that did not come off were the Nexus $5 and the Big $3. So my out of pocket was $21.37 after tax, which if I had that extra $8 come off, it would have been even cheaper. So I paid that on my credit card because the booster that get $8 when you spend 35 keyword spend means you cannot redeem points to get that booster so i actually had to pay something out of pocket so i paid the 2137 on my credit card and then i looked at the bottom of my receipt when i walked out of the store to make sure i got my points i was supposed to get eight dollars from the bonus eight dollars from the colgate and five dollars from the um crest deal so 16 so yeah like 21 dollars in points i think right eight eight sixteen five yeah 21 roughly 21 dollars in points which means um uh, if i paid 21 out of pocket and i got 21 back essentially would have been free but even a money maker if i called cv or called walgreens to get those points added to my account for the coupons that didn't come off but I looked at the bottom of my receipt and I ended up getting $27 back in points so more than I had anticipated I don't know why um or where those bonus points came from so if I paid $21 and I got back $27 that means I made around $5 but then um, if I call Walgreens to get them to fix my account for the coupons that didn't come off, then I'll have, um, five, five, three, so $13, it'd be a $13 moneymaker. And then I think there's like a big rebate for the pens or something somewhere that I have to look at. I'm not sure how much it is, but I've been seeing people post about it. So I could be making more money off that, but I literally got paid to shop at Walgreens today. Um, now granted... People are going to be like, yes, you paid $21 on your credit card. And um, yes, I guess the money is gone from my bank account. but I And um, the money is into my Walgreens account. I treat my Walgreens account as, my, ugh, as like my investment account. I don't really do stocks or anything. I invest my money into Walgreens so I can play their system and get a bunch of free stuff, money maker deals, all that. So I'm fine with $21 out of my bank account going into my Walgreens account because I took that $21 and turned it into $27 plus another $8 in coupons that didn't come off. So I like that because um, I am able to use it as my, I guess, cash when I shop there. So um, when I need stuff, instead of going to the store and having to pay money out of pocket, I will go to Walgreens and buy the stuff that I need so I don't actually have to pay for anything. I'll just redeem Walgreens points. So like for my side hustle, when I sell products, I have to make sure I have tape and all different types and sizes of envelopes. So instead of going to like UPS or whatever to buy those things, I will go to Walgreens, get those things and redeem my points so I don't actually have to spend anything out of pocket. I'll just redeem points. So that was my money maker deal that was amazing today. I, I did not think this would happen. I was not expecting this. But at this point, y'all, I already say this. Every time I walk into Walgreens, I should know that I'm going to walk out with something. And every time I doubt my abilities, I should know by now that I'm freaking amazing at what I do. And I can turn nothing into a whole lot of something. Um, yeah, I'm proud of myself. <sighs> so that was my little video and I'll probably post about it on my social medias, but like a smaller version, not as detailed as this video. So yeah, thanks for watching.